Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna try to paint like Sigurder Olafsson. I, I I hope I, I'm saying that right. Um, first off, I have to say, I'm gonna try this angle, okay? I've never really tried this before, trying to paint with the camera in front of me because this is how many of the people on YouTube do it. I'm gonna try it. I'm really hoping I don't knock my phone over while I'm recording this. Anyway, um, so today we're gonna be doing a scrape painting and I found this guy on Instagram. His name was uh, Sigurder Olafsson and I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he's from Iceland and he does scrape paintings with acrylic. So I thought that was perfect because it kind of fits into what I like to do. And we're gonna try to kind of replicate one of his paintings. Now I'm not trying to do it to to really copy his style or, you know, copy uh, his technique or anything. I just really like it. And I wanted to see if I could maybe, you know, create something similar like it and show you guys a very simple uh, scrape painting that you can do at home with acrylic. Um, so yeah, I mean, very simple. We've got three colors here, uh, red, black, and white. My favorite color scheme. I think that's a lot of people's favorite color schemes because it's very, it's very bold, but it's kind of balanced. So I think that's why a lot of people like it. Anyway, uh, I have to say one thing. What's really weird is that these little tubes sometimes have tamper evident seals so that you know if somebody opened it or not, but yet the big ones don't. I don't know. It's a weird thing. I just thought it was weird. Anyway, um, and then for our scrapes today, we're going to be using this uh, paint shield. I got this at, uh, I think, Home Depot for a few bucks. Um, and then we're also going to be using uh, this, actually, let's see what size that is. Yeah, this one's fine. What's, uh, nah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the big boy. Okay, uh, so we're gonna also be using this trowel uh, to be doing our scraping. So just some very simple, um, you know, some very simple tools today and then a paintbrush, so fun, fun. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen right here, somewhere in this area. So you know, kind of, you have a reference of what we're trying to pull off here. Um, so it looked like, again, I've never seen the guy paint. I've only seen his amazing work on Instagram and I will link to it in the description area below. Um, but what it looks like is that he painted the background black, painted the whole thing black, then scraped on red and then scraped on white and black. But the thing is, is that the white and black are going two different directions. So we're gonna try to do that as well. And, um, you know, we're gonna see how it goes. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, gonna clean off our background here. And we're gonna start with our black. And again, I apologize if I move the camera at all. This is a new angle for me. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, do something a little different, be a little closer, not so far off. And um, we'll just see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna give this uh, painting a nice thick background. Um, I'm not going to uh, thin out this black, I don't think. I think we're gonna try to really let it be its own thing. I really do like this nice thick uh, coat here. It's very, very dominant, very bold. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this paint to the edges here real quick. And just kind of bring it along here. And you know, it's funny as you could probably um, just make like a square like this, like just, you know, rough brush strokes, probably just make a very solid square and sell that as a painting, sadly enough. Um, I, I think it kind of speaks to the state of modern art and you know, I, th I see a lot of people kind of getting mad at like abstract art, modern art. And the thing is, is like, yeah, you're right. You know, th there is something to be mad about, I think, because there's a lot of art out there that it isn't so great. I get it. But a lot of the artists, um, if you look at a lot of the, you know, famous or professional artists who kind of have these like very minimal paintings or simplified paintings, a lot of them do it be for a reason. They do it to make a statement. Um, or they just, they do it because, you know, they really, it speaks to them. 
And I understand, you know, maybe these artists are overpaid sometimes. I get it. But what's really funny is how you'll have these artists who um, do these, you know, very simple paintings and they're overpaid. But then you have these other artists that are starving artists that are just incredible. So I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know the current state of the art world. I suppose that maybe it'll always be that way. But I think things are changing with the Internet and with, you know, galleries having trouble kind of filling the uh their space and and uh and museums as well so we'll see anyway we've got our nice solid kind of black background here um now i i really want it to kind of dry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and use a squeegee here and just just kind of pull off some of the excess just so we don't like pull it back into the painting. It looks like pulled off a little bit. You don't have to do this. You can just give it a couple minutes, let it dry. Um, I'm just kind of doing that. All right, so pulled some of that off. I don't want to pull off too much. Um, so what we're going to do here is I will probably go ahead and dry this real quick with a blow dryer or a heat gun is what I have. So I just have a heat gun. I'm going to go ahead and heat gun this, uh, dry it out, and then I will go ahead and resume the video. Okay, so now that we've got our base level of black, I've given some time to dry, we're going to add our red. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually, this paint shield is just so big. Oh, there's some on it, some dust. So we're gonna line this up so we know how much paint to use, and we're gonna put it right on the shield, which you guys cannot see. And I'm just gonna knock everything over in the way because I'm not used to this angle. All right, so let's go ahead and put our paint right here on the paint shield. Okay, cool. All right, so now that we've got our paint on there, let's go ahead and kind of, I'm gonna put it on the edge. Oh, I guess I could line it up. And we're just gonna Well, that didn't go very far at all, did it? <laughs> There's still quite a bit of paint on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do it again. So we'll put it on there. All right. And let's just see if we can kinda, not, I don't wanna push hard enough that I scrape through the paint. Okay, definitely uh, gives us a different uh, look, but let's see if we can kind of... There we go. Now we got it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. Now we did pull up some of the paint from the other layers, um, but I think that's gonna be okay because, uh, let me go ahead and show it to you guys. You can see that it did pull up some of the paint here. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. And actually, again, you could probably sell that as a painting by itself and it would probably sell very well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dry this layer and we're going to add our final layers of black and white on top. All right, everyone. We're ready to move into the final phase here with our black and white. And I've got our little trowel here and we're gonna put the black and white on the trowel. Now, first we're going to scrape down from the top. We're gonna to scrape down towards us and we need it to go over halfway down. Um, and then once we have that, then we're going to take it and we're gonna scrape it this way. Um, and we're gonna to try to do it um, one time each. Oh, that's why I needed the paint shield was for the first initial. Well, it's too late. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, 
you know, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So I wonder if I could stack these, right? And then kind of like maybe scrape them at the same time. Like what if we did this? What if we just kind of went crazy and just kind of stacked at the same time? Nah, I'd probably still make lines. I was just, just thinking outside the box here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the paint on our little uh, scraper here. So I don't know where the best way to do this is. Maybe right here. And so let's go ahead and put the black on the edge here. white on here and we're gonna have to do it twice to cover both sides I think so we'll put our white on there okay and now that we've got that on there we can go ahead and scrape it. oh I told you I told you it was gonna happen you guys didn't believe me all right so let's go ahead and I'm gonna pull this through. Why didn't it cover the end? I'm gonna pick up some of that paint. Okay, so got a decent, uh, decent scrape. The problem with it is, is it didn't really go very far. Um, you know what, maybe we'll leave it. Maybe we want some of that red to show up. So we're gonna leave it. So now we'll go ahead and put our white on here. We're gonna do it the other way first. And kind of stack the black on there. And once again, I didn't go to the end, but I do have a little paint sticks here. So maybe I can smooth that out. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we're gonna do this side. And yes, we are going to overlap it. Okay, I do like this. I do like that we have like a lot of division here. I'm actually gonna go over the same one and just kind of stretch it out a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got that. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually, uh, should we go right there or kind of cover up that? Let's hmm, here or here. Tough decision. You know what? Let's go across here and we'll leave part of the bottom exposed. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I've got some paint on me, so I'm just going to put that on there. We're going to do the same thing as the last one. And this should be our last um, kind of stroke here. So let's make sure we actually get paint all the way across this time. Okay. And then put some of our black on there. You know, that was a really good red. I really like that red. It, it came out darker than I thought. I really like that a lot, actually. Okay, so here it is. We got our final one on there. And we're gonna go right about here to kind of cover up some of the bottom one, but not quite the top. And we're gonna pull this through. And that's it. Dude, that actually looks pretty good. Gonna kind of clean some of this paint off of there. <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of extra. Oh well, I don't want to touch it. I actually like this piece a lot. Um, it's a little lighter than I meant it to be, but I feel like if I had added too much black, then I'd probably be saying it was too dark. Um, only because we added both and you're only going to see one more than the other. So unfortunately, one would have been uh, a little more highlighted. So it is what it is. I think it, uh, I think it looks pretty good actually. So 
Let me go ahead and show you guys the final piece. This is it. This is our, our scraped piece here. Maybe I'll put the, the paint next to it so that, you know, we can do like a thumbnail here, right? And then the little scraper. Yeah, that's a decent one. Anyway, uh, that's it. I do like how it broke up uh, towards the end, like towards the bottom and towards the side. I think that that gives it a lot of character. So I am a big fan of that. Um, and actually, I don't think it's bad with the balance. I, I think it's a pretty cool little piece. Um, so yeah, anyways, like I said, the inspiration for this piece was uh, by a guy named Sigurder Olafsson. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. I will link to his his uh, Instagram in the description area below. And uh, maybe you can go check out his work. But other than that, I think it was a, I think it was a success. So uh, here, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put the picture of his compared to mine. So we can kind of see a little bit of a difference here. And uh, that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye, guys.